Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to look at MemSQL Studio. I've created a cluster previously at memsql.com slash helios 8 hour trial. So we're going to start straight in by logging in at portal.memsql.com. We'll open MemSQL Studio for our Helios cluster. We'll look at hosts and nodes. We'll look at the SQL editor. And we'll look at the Visual Explain tool. So let's dive in. So let's open up portal.memsql.com. I'll put in my username and password and sign in. Here on licenses, we see the details we would need for an on-premise cluster. But here we're launching a Helios cluster. So I've gone into my clusters and let's launch that Helios cluster. Here's the details that we used when we created the cluster. It's a four unit cluster. Here's the username and password that we used when we created it. And here's the open MemSQL Studio button. Let's launch MemSQL Studio, log into our cluster. And we see that we have a seven node cluster. Now, before we noticed that it was a four node cluster, let's look at what that means. Here on nodes, I can see that we have one master node, two child nodes or aggregators, and four leaf nodes. MemSQL is built up with all of these pieces, leaf nodes, where the data is actually stored, aggregator nodes, where users will connect to, the aggregator then will break the query into queries for each leaf node, the leaf node will harvest the data on that particular partition and return that to the aggregator. One aggregator is known as the master aggregator that is responsible for the cluster. If the master aggregator goes down, a new aggregator is voted into place. So in this case, in our four node cluster, we see we have four leaf nodes and we have two aggregators and one master aggregator. It's great to see the graphs here showing the CPU and memory utilization for each machine. Switching from nodes to host view, we can see that we have one node on each machine. Here's a leaf node, here's the master aggregator node, here's another leaf node, and here's an aggregator node. Isn't it great to see all of the graphs about the usage for each machine? In the events view, we can see details about how our cluster is doing. This is the process it went through in creating that cluster. And there in the dashboard, seven healthy nodes in our cluster. So databases. Right now, we only have the information schema database. Here on the SQL editor, we can create a new database. Let's come in here and let's create a hello memsql database. The run button up here at the top will execute the query that we have selected. So now that we've created that database, I'll refresh this view and we can see that database. Right now it has no schema. Let's create some, let's use that database and create a table here in this database. Refreshing the schema view, I can now see that row store table. Let's insert some content into that table. And we'll select that content back out of that table. And here we see that we have row ID one and the message is hello memsql. For each query that we use, we can come up here to this view and we can say explain. It will flip over to the visual explain view and show the processes that it went through to get from the data stored in the table up to the query results. Now in this case, we're just explaining the view. If we come in here and instead choose to, selecting that query again, to profile that view, not only will it execute it, it will also show us details about how that query performed. In a future video, we'll look at pipelines where we can ingest data really quickly. So we looked at the cluster that we created previously. We logged into portal.memsql.com. We opened up MemSQL Studio, looked at both hosts and nodes, got to see aggregator nodes and leaf nodes. And we looked at the SQL editor and the visual explain view. 